In April 2023, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps announced the successful testing of its latest top-attack anti-tank guided missile, the Sadid 365. This development is a notable milestone in Iran's ongoing efforts to advance its indigenous weapons technology, particularly through reverse engineering Western military systems. Western analysts suggest that the Sadid 365 bears a striking resemblance to the American Javelin ATGM, a weapon system developed by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin, raising speculation that Iran may have derived its design from captured Western technology provided by Russia. Iran has a long history of reverse engineering Western weapon systems, a practice that has significantly enhanced its military capabilities. Reports indicate that Russia has transferred various Western weapons captured in Ukraine to Iran for examination and potential replication. The Tupan ATGM, developed from the US-made BGM-71 Tau, is one of the most well-known examples of this practice. Iran has also successfully reverse-engineered a US RQ-170 Sentinel drone, producing the Sege UAV. Given this precedent, it is plausible that the Sedid 365 is another product of Iran's reverse engineering efforts, leveraging captured Javelin missile technology. Iran's ability to reverse engineer advanced weapons is a testament to its growing defense industry, which has become increasingly self-reliant due to decades of economic sanctions and military embargoes. The country has invested heavily in research and development enabling its military-industrial complex to produce indigenous versions of Western military hardware. The Sadid 365 is designed as a precision-guided, optically-tracked missile capable of engaging targets at a range of up to 8 kilometers. It employs a top-attack mode, meaning it ascends after launch and then strikes the upper sections of a target's armor, typically the most vulnerable part of a tank. This capability is crucial for neutralizing modern main battle tanks that feature reinforced frontal armor but have relatively thinner protection on the turret top. Iran claims that the Sadat 365 can penetrate active protection systems, which are defensive countermeasures used by modern tanks to intercept incoming threats. This suggests that the missile is being developed to counter high-end Western and Israeli tank models such as the M1 Abrams and Merkava 4, which feature advanced APS technology. The IRGC has plans to deploy the Sadid 365 not only as a manned portable infantry weapon, but also as a mounted system on armored personnel carriers. Reports indicate that IRGC ground force APCs will be armed with four Sadid 365 missiles, enhancing their anti-armor capabilities. The missile's optical guidance system, reportedly featuring advanced imaging and target locking mechanisms, enhances its ability to engage moving targets effectively. Furthermore, the IRGC has hinted at plans to integrate the missile with unmanned aerial vehicles, which could significantly expand its operational scope by allowing drone-based attacks against armored targets. This combination of precision targeting and extended range aligns with Iran's broader strategy of using UAVs as force multipliers. The introduction of the Sadid 365 aligns with Iran's asymmetric warfare doctrine, which prioritizes indigenous technological advancements and cost-effective means to counter superior Western and regional adversaries. Given Iran's constrained defense budget relative to its rivals, Cost-effective and locally produced weapons like the Sidid 365 allow Iran to maintain credible deterrence and provide advanced military assets to its regional allies and proxy forces, such as Hezbollah and various militias in Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. Iran's military doctrine emphasizes self-sufficiency in defense production, making the development of missiles like the Sidid 3365 a strategic necessity. The country's defense industry has also demonstrated adaptability in overcoming technological gaps through the acquisition and reverse engineering of foreign weaponry. Iran's allies and proxies are likely to receive export variants of the Sadid 365, much like previous Iranian missile systems, which have been supplied to groups like Hezbollah in Lebanon, 
the Houthis in Yemen, and various militias in Iraq and Syria. This raises concerns among Western military planners, as such missiles could be used against U.S. and Israeli armored forces in potential conflicts across the Middle East. In the broader Middle Eastern context, the SADD 365 competes with other advanced ATGMs, including the Israeli Spike LR-2, the Turkish Amtas, and the Russian Cornet EM. The Spike LR-2, with its 5.5 kilometers for ground-launched and 10 kilometers range for aerial, offers superior fire-and-forget capabilities and greater battlefield versatility. The Cornet EM, used by Russian and Iranian-backed forces, has longer range, 8 to 10 kilometers, and a tandem charge warhead designed to defeat reactive armor. While Iran's missile technology has improved, it still lags behind Western and Israeli systems in terms of guidance accuracy, resistance to jamming, and sensor sophistication. However, given Iran's ability to produce such weapons at lower costs and in greater numbers, the Sadeh 365 could still prove to be a significant asset in guerrilla warfare in asymmetric combat scenarios. Turkey's Amtas, developed by Roketsan, is another regional competitor to the Sadeh 365. The Amtas, with a range of 4 kilometers and an infrared seeker, is optimized for engagement against heavily armored vehicles. While it has a shorter range than the Sadeh 365, it benefits from NATO standard production quality and compatibility with advanced targeting systems. However, unlike Iran, Turkey does not face the same level of sanctions, giving it access to superior materials and production techniques. The next phase of development for the SADID 365 will reportedly include folding fins and an improved fire control system, increasing its portability and ease of deployment. This would allow for easier integration with armored vehicles and attack helicopters, making it a more versatile battlefield weapon. Despite its advancements, Iran faces several challenges in fully capitalizing on the Sadid 365. The lack of access to advanced microelectronics, thermal imaging technology, and high-quality composite materials means that its systems may still lag in reliability compared to Western-made counterparts. Moreover, the missile's actual battlefield performance remains untested in large-scale conflicts, making its true effectiveness speculative. The geopolitical implications of the Sadid 365's proliferation could be significant. If Iran exports the missile to regional allies, it could shift the balance of power in localized conflicts, particularly in Lebanon and Syria. Western and Israeli forces will likely respond with countermeasures, including enhanced electronic warfare capabilities and APS improvements to neutralize Iran's growing anti-tank threat. The Sadid 3365 represents another step in Iran's ongoing efforts to develop indigenous high-tech weaponry through reverse engineering. Its deployment will likely bolster Iran's regional influence and military capabilities, particularly through exports to allied non-state actors. While the missile may not yet match the technological sophistication of its Western and Israeli counterparts, its cost efficiency, local production, and strategic deployment make it a formidable addition to Iran's growing arsenal. As tensions in the Middle East continue to evolve, weapons like the Sadid 365 will play a key role in shaping the battlefield dynamics of future conflicts.